Hi guys. Right, so today we're going to be praying for our bosses. <laughs> Not like a church, but think about it. Have you ever prayed for your boss? Did you know your boss is human? Did you know your boss has his own challenges? Did you know that your boss goes through issues as well? Now, sometimes we only concentrate on we, what I want, what is good for me, how this company will do this for me, how I can benefit from the office, but you have never thought about praying for the one who even created the platform for you, probably except for maybe general prayers and the outfits and all of that. Within you, in your heart, do you really wish your boss well? Now the truth is, if you are very particular about your boss, you know that there are things that can even get to you on a platter of gold. Trust me, regardless of what people say about bosses, regardless of how some bosses are, there are angelic bosses that are sent just to help you find a balance in your career path. I have met them. I have worked with them and I know what I'm saying. So some of us just concentrate on praying for, you know, allowances, praying for promotions, praying for opportunities to emerge from the job. But we do not pray for the bosses, the ones who are in charge. There are two kinds of bosses. We have the ones who are leaders, the ones who are mentors, the ones who are ready to guide, the ones who are ready to be a father, the ones who are ready to be a mother, the ones who will not see you going the wrong way and allow you to do that path. We have the annoying ones. We have the ones that maybe don't actually care. We have the ones that will never show you that they care about you. We have those ones, but let's concentrate on this time. And the truth is, every boss has a good day and a bad day. Every boss has a bad time and a good time. Every boss has a good side and a bad side. But you know, because you are always doing the wrong things, eh? So you're always triggering and triggering that um, bad side of your boss. That is why you think your boss is bad. I would always say it. For the fact that you are a good person, you would always say you're a good person, right? Try and see that good personality in someone else. So if you are a good staff, you will definitely see the good in your boss if you are sincere. But what I'm saying is, when you pray for your boss, it lays a good foundation for you. A boss can make you. A boss can mar you. I know bosses that have seen opportunities bigger than the office space that they are in. And they think that a particular staff in that office deserves that spot. And they single out that person and helps that person. The truth is, you need to open up your heart. You need to see beyond your own issues, your own benefits. You need to see beyond that for you to be able to enjoy your boss. And you can just start by praying for your boss, setting the right foundation, and amending your ways. Remember, if you are a good staff, you can see the good in your boss. Do you agree? Do you disagree? All you need to do is to drop your thoughts and opinion on the comment section and we will come dialoguing from there. Till I see you next week, you are only allowed to stay vibrant.